first we're gonna have uh, we have water, so we're gonna pour some little bit of water. We're going to do a tornado inside the jar. Well, it's actually a vortex, but it looks a lot like a tornado. That much water. So then we have a, a, a tiny bit. That's enough. Okay. So and then you shake it round and round. Yeah. Can you see it? There's just some little particles inside the jar. There. Done. So, how to spinning the bottle in a circular motion round and round creates a water vortex that looks like a mini tornado. The water is rapidly spinning around the center of the vortex due to centripetal force. This is an inward force directing an object or fluid such as water towards the center of its circular path. A tornado is a vortex in nature. Hurricanes are caused by a vortex too. Bye. Bye. We have a bottle of water. We have to we have to throw it in put it in the bowl. And then you have put pepper, a pinch of pepper, spread it around. That's it. Yeah, and then you get a cotton wool or a toothpick. You get a cotton wool or a toothpick. You get a cotton wool or a toothpick. And you take it out and you dip it in in fairy, any any kind of soap. But fairy would work really good. So you put it in and then once you've done that, you have to see what happens when you add it in. And wow! And it reacts. And this happens. And this happens. This happens because the washing up method lowers the surface tension and allows the particles of water at the surface to spread out. So what is surface tension? The water molecules on the surface of the water hold on tight together like a skin. Or the other, or the surface. They they can hold, hold tight enough, enough to support, to support the pepper in the water surface. surface. Soap and detergent can lower the surface tension because they form a layer at the top of the water and these molecules then they attract each other strongly. It is as if the washing up liquid makes the skin of the water stretch out. When the washing up liquid is added, the surface tension weakens and as the water moves, we can see the pepper moving with it. Thank you. So basically, so basically, what we're going to be doing now is basically it's see if the vinegar and the baking soda will explode. Okay. The sun looks bad. Is that cooking? Yeah. No, no, no. no, it's the vinegar. Malt vinegar. Okay, so do 15 milliliters. That's cold. That was not. It's vinegar. No, I really have to say, I have to check the bag. Okay, stop. Oh, oh, that looks, oh, that looks like Pepsi. But that looks wrong, bro. Yeah, that looks wrong. Okay, so we've ripped tissue, please. That, that looks bad. Wait, 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 no, you, let's use the other half. Are you sure about that? No, 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 it's not so strong for you to do side screen. So, let's go. 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 So,
Yes, no, 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 no. I lost that to Jake. Did you hold my hands on my back? Stop, stop, stop. You did it hard. You just scared all of us. I don't care who's scared of me. No. Come on, hurry up. Jake it, Jake it. Pockets that that makes that suck in all the air from the water and make it lighter up. Seriously, a quartered orange floats in the middle. This happens because the the the, the part that is peeled may may sink, but the part that is up peeled does not sink. Thanks, guys. Bye.